Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time, I took the time off screen to reduce Kane's HP below 25% of its maximum, so that way I can activate the Adrenaline Augment for him, which will really boost his damage a lot. So, let's check, take a look at the Sylph Cave around here. Gotta watch our footsteps around here. So, I, what I'm gonna do is cast Float on everyone. So that way, we can't get damaged by the floor. Or, well, there's... I don't know what that stuff is, but... Anyway, so we want to watch out for that. If you haven't learned Float yet, well, you probably want to do some level grinding before going here, but you should have it by now. Shouldn't you know who's here, Rydia? I would think she would. She's been in the underworld long enough. We got lots of long, narrow hallways here. Yeah, but it's not like a straight hallway. It's more of a maze a little bit. But that's okay. Well, thanks for your help, Rosa. I appreciate it. Okay, now let's take a look around. Do a little map completion here first. Grab this, and then I'll go up here. The path will circle around to get the lower half of this area. Let's see in here. We get some angel arrows. Not going to use them, but they're there. You can give them to Rosa if you're using a bow and arrow on her, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's see. Aha! Uh-oh. Why can't I get to that chest? What gives, game? Well, we can't get over there for now, but we'll take another path to get over there soon. Let's see. Make sure to get this little nook in the wall there on your map completion there. That can be a little tricky. But otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Now, one thing with the map completion in this area is that it's going to be like the... The Tower of Babel. First, we gotta explore the upper half, or the northern half, and then we'll explore the southern half of the dungeon. So we're not gonna do all the map completion all at once. We're gonna make two trips through the area. Uh, by the way, the random battle that I just got into was battle with tunnelers. So if you didn't meet up with them before, you can now. But unfortunately, since we entered a new floor of the dungeon, we gotta recast Float. Yeah, you gotta do that for every floor of this place. Oh, wow. But here, we got another new enemy. Oh, actually? Yeah, let's just use Shiva. Uh, let's see, we got Bog Witch and, well, Bog Toads. Basically, all they do all day is cast Toad on you. Fortunately, since I have draw attacks, they can only hit Cecil with that. So, Rydia will be free to cast uh, Shiva which the toads are weak against, and then we can take out the toad lady just as easily. Yeah, skip past the summon animation. Might kill the lady, I don't know. Nope, okay, not quite enough. Oh well. Another strategy you could do is you could have really, just like the 2D versions, if you cast toad on the bog witch there, the rest of the toads can't do anything. So you could just pick them off one at a time, like that, if you so choose. I'm not going to do that, but you could if you want. Let's uh, heal Cecil there. Yeah, that battle's really more an annoyance than actually challenging, especially if you've got draw attacks ready. Okay, so I'm going to circle around the other half now. And fight these guys, Marlboros! They use Bad Breath, which inflicts a ton of status ailments on you. Again, fortunately... Uh, we've got draw attacks, so they can only target Cecil with bad breath. Uh, unlike the 2D versions, though, Marlboros are actually weak to fire! Yeah, look at that damage there! That was like four grand! With, uh, with the uh, adrenaline augment. And it only gets better from here, viewers. Oh, yeah. Kane is going to be a house! Well, he already is, but yeah, we're going to get some new weapons for him soon. And we've got a whole bunch of statuses to cure Cecil on, so just do that. Unfortunately, unlike the 2D versions, you can't just make yourself immune to one status of Bad Breath and then be immune to the whole attack. No, it doesn't work that way. You only get immune to that one part of it, and the rest still goes through. So, you want to watch out for that. Fortunately, Kane is safe, since draw attacks will, well, draw the attacks away from him. And another new enemy here, alright. 
see. These are Evil Dreamers. Let's see. Kane. Let's attack that one. And throw a shuriken at it. Okay, we could do it that way too. Well, what Evil Dreamers do is they'll cast Slee on your entire party. And then they'll try to silence you too. That's why I've got the Prison Garb on Kane and the Light Shield on Cecil there. Uh, that's also why I have the Mithril Shield on Kane to protect against silence and the rune rings on everyone in the back row there. So that way Kane can work his magic with the adrenaline augment there unhindered. Now, if you don't have the prison garb, if you go to the uh, the sealed cave there, there's a piece of headgear that you can get. It's the black cowl and that can protect you from sleep as well. But I have the prison garb that we got from Sid so long ago, so that works out pretty well. It's gotta be horrible to, you know, be in prison and wear armor that prevents you from falling asleep. Now that's a torture device. But, oh well, let's go up here and grab some more treasure. Let's see what we got on this one. Nuts. Nuts. Come on, be something good. Hey, hey! All right, we got the fairy rod. And that one, we can give to Rydia. That'll boost her intellect a little more, so that's pretty nice. You can keep the polymorph rod if you want, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's see, what's over here? Hmm. Oh, this path just loops back in on itself. Hmm. Well, oh, I was going to cast Warp, but that'll take me to the beginning of the previous floor, so that wouldn't really help. Okay, so, let's see, in order to get back, or to get to where I really want to go, I've got to go back to the start of the floor and go through a secret passage. By the way, that last battle was against some evil dreamers. Another idea that you could use against them is you could have Rosa cast Silence on them, and that'll work too. That'll stop them from casting their spells. They are somewhat resistant to it, though, but not completely. So, that's one way you could deal with them, too. Or, another way you could deal with them. Yeah, Cecil got silenced there, but that's why I got the Mithril Shield on Kane, so that way I don't have to cure that constantly. And, okay, we got that, or float on everyone, so let's go over here, then. This path takes us uh, on a side passage through the area. This won't take us to the end, but there's some really good stuff here. So, let's grab these four first. And if you didn't see that, I went through it a little quickly. That was a uh, bomb core from the chest. Nothing that I'm ever going to use. Probably sell it off screen, but oh well. And let's see, that's everything on this part. Yeah, map completion is a little tricky in this cave, simply because of all the branching paths and everything. Now, we could go down that hole there, but let's not do that yet. Yeah, they got rid of all the empty chests here from the 2D version. So, I like that. I always found it weird when, in a lot of these old JRPGs, where they have empty chests that you can't do anything with, and it's like, what's the point of that? I want to get treasure. I don't want to find empty treasure. I want it to be mine. You see a chest on the floor? You, you gotta open it. It's the discovery. But, whatever. Okay, so anyway, yeah, we gotta go straight up this way. Not really a stairway that we took to get here, but you still gotta recast float all the same. So, let's see. Okay, once we get up to the top here, let's see. Haha, -ha, another secret passage. Ooh, and a teleportation tile. So yeah, now we're on the other side of those chests that we couldn't get before. Okay, so now... Oh, right, because we teleported, we don't need to recast Float, so we're all pretty good. Okay, and here's another new enemy. Let's see, let me uh, take care of those. Oh, 
Or I could get put to sleep first. Why not? Let's see, Edge. You could shuriken the same one that Kane is targeting there. Thank you. Let's get Silence on the middle Evil Dreamer there. Maybe we'll get lucky. Defend, Cecil. Anyway, those new enemies there, those are Elder Trants. They are susceptible to Petrify, but they're also susceptible to Fire, just like the 2D versions. Let's see. Let's see if Rose is successful first. And she is not. So, Kane, you keep on going after them like that. I want Cecil defending so that he doesn't die. Can't have Cecil dying on us. And Rosa keeps Cecil healed there. Thank you. And if you could finish off the enemies that I told you to, Cecil, that would hurt Edge and Kane, that would be nice. Uh-oh. Kane's actually taking damage now. Oh, come on. Kuraga, come on! Get that Kuraga in, Cecil! Or Rosa! Yeah! Woo! -hoo! All right. Whew! All right. So let's see. If Edge can kill that other one, then I'll have Rydia cast... Or use a Phoenix down. I was going to say cast... Uh, what is it? Uh, Ifrit, but we can't do that now. Can we? No. Fine. Yeah, these guys eventually berserk themselves, and that'll be really bad. So I definitely want Cecil defending. Keep Rosa on standby. To uh, heal Cecil eventually. Yeah, let's go with a single Kira on it. I think that'll do quite nicely. And let's finish this guy up with a nice Sphera. You could also use Break against them, but we're going to have quite a few battles coming up in the chests here. No, Stripe! She wants attention. She's trying to get in on the microphone. No. Don't play with the chair, Stripe. Uh, what? Oh, right, Kane. Because he died, he lost his float status. I was like, how did I lose float? I did. So, okay. Uh, now, I could cure everyone, but that would cure Kane as well. So I'm just going to use single targeting cures. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to use regular potions on Kane. So that way he can survive. Let's see. Uh, one more. Okay, that ought to be good. You got to his, keep his HP in the yellow. And fight these guys to get an Avenger. Oh, that weapon is so good. You only got to defeat two Marlboros in order to get it. So let's heal up Cecil first. And unlike the 2D versions of the game, I'm actually going to give the Avenger to Kane. So that way he can use that with the... Uh, what is it? The Adrenaline Augment there. And that'll really boost his uh, damage. Because the Avenger gives Auto Berserk. To whoever equips it. Oh, by the way, it's a one-handed weapon now, not two-handed, like the 2D versions of the game. Not that that's really a big deal, but it's there. So, let's show it off. Uh, that was a Moonring Blade, a type of boomerang for uh, Edge there. All these guys are weak to fire, so let's you put that to use. And Cure Cecil, so the trees don't kill him. Come on, Kane. You can do better than that. Now let's show off Edge's flame ability. Why not? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you, you were kind of late on that one, Rosa. We don't have... Hit someone! Oh, crap. Oh, wow. These guys are kicking my ass now that Cecil's dead. Can you kill anyone? Why can't you hit anything, Kane? Oh, wow. Wow, I can't even run from this battle because it's a forced encounter. Well, it's about time, Kane, but I think you're too late. Okay, we got one more to go. 
Okay, come on, Ed. Come on, come on. Don't let me die here. Don't let me die here. Come on. Finish them. Yeah! Woo! Okay, the power of the Avenger was... That was a bad demonstration. But we survived anyway. Whoops. <laughs> Holy cow, that just was catastrophically bad. Oh. Holy cow. Okay, well, that is the risk of the strategy that I'm using with the... with the adrenaline augment. If Cecil dies, you're gonna be in a whole lot of trouble. But, uh, that was just... Oh, that was horrifically unlucky there. But, we're alive. We're alive. Okay. Go back up to 549 there. And I think we're all going to need Float except Edge. So what I'm going to do, since Float toggles, give Float to everyone, then give it back to Edge there. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe the uh, Avenger will actually do its job. Okay, so we got four of these guys. We've seen them before. But since Kane has the prison garb, they can't put him to sleep. Yeah, look at that damage. I didn't even have to enter in a command. He just automatically goes because he's auto berserk. <laughs> oh, man. Kane is going to mop the floor with these guys. I don't even have to do anything. You know what? I'm just going to have everyone else defend in case they cast Spira on us or something. <laughs> oh, man. It was totally worth it. He just runs circles around these guys. Look at that damage. <laughs> Holy cow. That is why I use the Avenger. Yeah, it's a little risky, as you just saw, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> Let's give the Moonring Blade to Edge there. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but it's there. Oh, I should have replaced your uh, weaker weapon with that. There we go. Again, not that it matters, but it's there. Okay, so now I'm just going to open the rest of these chests off screen. And, well, I'll show you what's inside and then do the battle off screen then. Okay, got that one there. And we're going to use the Avenger to get uh, Blue Fang. Oh, that previous chest had uh, four of those evil dreamers in them. And so did this chest. One more to go. Medusa arrows. Well, they were pretty good in the 2D versions, but I don't know about the 3D versions. Hey, I'll just show this battle on screen just because I can go through it really fast. Whatever. The, the Avenger is an interesting weapon in this game because it's the only item in the game to my knowledge, that gives you an auto status. In this case, Berserk. I think it's the first one in the entire series to do that, actually. Oh, we gotta go around. Right. So, yeah, when they first introduced it in the 2D versions of the game, it was really buggy. I mean, it does work, but it creates conflicts with other things in the game, and... So, yeah, it creates a lot of problems, but... Okay, we got in, we made it out alive, but all we got was some treasure. Who actually lives in this place anyway, and with all those monsters there? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!